Hello the senoritos, today we gonna break down civil engineer armor. I work in this field for like 8 or 9 months, drawing side plans, doing calculations, actually it was an amazing experience. For example, that is what I had as income data, a whole bunch of sketches, google maps and pictures of the location. Knowing AutoCAD is a must, but it is super easy to learn. So, if you like to work outside, I strongly recommend you to try it out, because it will be part of your job eventually. Yokis dokis, back to the video. The most important resistance is ballistic. So, in this case, BS armor is the best choice. Secret service is quite balanced and way easier or faster for getting the most suitable legendary mods. Seal armor has the lowest ballistic resistance here, but the highest energy protection. Radiation stat is somewhere in the middle, but not enough to feel comfy in nuked areas or during eviction notice. In general, ranged weapons used against us have low damage outcome, so here only high fire rate is scary. And as you can see, all three armors perform almost equally. As understood, the weapon, this turret, actually deals 2 or 3 damage. Pip-Boy just can't keep up with crazy fire rate and shows us double numbers. 4 or 5. In case of no protection, 24 or 26, 27. In case of melee damage, once again ballistic resistance is used. Here, just in case, I got super wrong result with BS armor on my first try. So sometimes it just works. Be advised if you run any test yourself. Explosive weapons in general use ballistic resistance once again. So BS armor is the best option hands down. But if you use fireproof, the difference between BS and civil is not that crazy. And I'd say fireproof and blocker are must have. Let's compare all numbers once again. So, clearly Seal is losing here, but not that much. If you run stealthy build, means no damage income, you will be fine with Seal armor. In case of being spotted by someone hostile, you will survive, even with 226 resistance. Of course you can have scary skin mutation or some perks maybe to boost it up, but there is no need to go way above 300. And in case of Over Eater's legendary mod, the difference will be even smaller. Before moving on, I just want to mention that there is no special bonus to stealth gameplay for any armor. After some little small adjustment of brackets, the result was the same for Civil, SS and BS armor. Okay, dokey, let's move on. Puppy's Unga Bunga build is quite dangerous in both cases. With just blocker, we would receive 134 damage. So 35 and 29 are quite understandable numbers. His stomps are less dangerous to us, and the difference only 4 hit points. Conclusions. First. Do not mess around with Puppy Hulk, cause this dude is the strongest man of Appalachia. And the second, Unyuldin and Overeaters are the best first star legendary mods for armor, as always. Yeah. Speaking of Sentinel legendary mod, it is still pretty much fucked up. And uh, as I promised, today I'm gonna show you two situations to prove it. First, with turret and slama. Here we get a number of numbers from 2 up to 6. Somewhere I received just one damage. Crazy, right? But in general, from 2 up to 6. Full Sentinel did not surprise me with this salad of slightly exaggerated numbers, but I actually still live longer with this legendary mod than without. I'm not sure how exactly it is bugged, probably some shots just ignore all armor or something like this. 
The second situation, hunting rifle and 11 income damage. But sentinels makes it 42. <laughs> so it's kinda big. No, no, no. I've been asked to test if suppressor works with taking one for the team. I even have tenderizer here. Cause it doesn't matter anyways. Okay, so shoot me. 18 hit points. Now I hit you. Boom! Shoot me again! Well, 12 hit points. 30% less. So, yay! It's working like a multiplier, I guess. That's kinda interesting. But uh, let's move to taking one for the team. He has no tenderizer, but adrenal reaction, yes. As you know, it is another buffer, plus 50%, but anyhow, you're gonna see that my damage is way stronger than 26. Okay, uh, check it out, 54, 51, so no adrenal reaction, 43, and uh, 26 back. That means taking one for the team is working. Yeah. And now how much? 49 damage. Yeah. Great. Bye bye. I... Ah, yes. No immortality. <laughs> Speaking of weapon breaks, lower legendary mode, it used to be only 10% on PTS. I was kind of not happy about that. And obviously, I'm not saying that my Vs have any impact on path. But in some cases, they do right thing. Maybe you remember my bitching about Holy Fire. <laughs> so I did the same exact test as last time on PTS. And uh, now I know that Gunsmith and Civil Engineer are more effect to degrade weapons slower. Stacks multiplicatively. 10% chance of 150 fire damage is another interesting legendary modification. As I understood, it is a fixed number, not affected by any buffers. Not good to kill Pat Hulk, but quite great for garbage mob like freaking Moritz. Great, what can I say? And finally, let's check mods, not legendary ones, we can attach to our beautiful armor. I'd say they are pretty much the same as in general, so we go with buttress. <laughs> the rest would depend on your build and the uh, situation. For example, buy a comish for double XP, then smart if you are if you use explosive, jetpack is an obvious choice and you can actually drop civil engineer armor, move to another character, so there is no need to learn plans on all your characters, just one. I bought muffled and actually it doesn't do a lot, you will be fine with escape artist perk. This one is a must for any stealth based build. If the target can't see you with escape artist, it will not be able to hear you as well. <laughs> so you can sneak behind and just do your dirty work. With no escape artist, but with muffled legs, you make some noise anyways. Still, it is not a big deal, but why do you need muffled here? Good question, right? With no muffled, but with escape artist, you are sneaky as a ninja. <laughs> you see? And without escape artist and muffled, uh, well, this turret can hear you. It is still not a big deal, but uh, okay. I think uh, you got my idea. Okie dokie, okie rookie. I think that's all for today. Civil Engineer Armor is one of the best, or maybe the best among all of them. So yeah, I would definitely grind a nice set. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful. Big thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye 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 bye.